Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone in the YouTube world. Thanks for watching The Lost Lion. I am really happy that you guys are back here watching another episode. We are going to talk about my top 10 favorite restaurants on the Carnival Celebration. These are all included, but there is a little bit of a disclaimer. I did not go to several restaurants, mainly the ones that do cost money. So this is really the included options only. So again, if any of these restaurants look appealing to you, if you want to try them, if you want to have the experience that I had, please let me know, comment below or email me in the description. You'll see my email so I can help you book, I can help you plan and find the best deal for this carnival celebration or any cruise on any cruise line. So I can definitely help you. Another little disclaimer, this is only my opinion guys on the carnival celebration. Everybody's experience is different. So if you do want to fight me in the comments, I'm more than glad to comment back to you. So let's have fun with this. Please like and subscribe. We are on our way to 1000 subscribers. We're so close. So let's get there, but let's go to the top 10 favorite restaurants on the Carnival Celebration in my experience. So we are going to start with number 10, which is Deco Deli. That is on deck eight. And this restaurant has plenty of options. It's more like a grab and go. They have a full menu of 10 different sandwiches plus one option for a hot dog but you can choose any of the sandwiches you like. You can choose a quantity, I believe. With the Deco Deli being on deck eight, it was definitely lots of traffic through there. So you're gonna have a little trouble finding seating, but that's okay because in the end, you're gonna have a long line to go to Deco Deli with the popularity of the sandwiches. Definitely a good option. With number nine, I'm gonna say Street Eats was a really good option on deck 16 next to the pool. So they have three different stalls. They are ever changing stalls with different cuisines every single day. So with the street eats, I definitely saw options like Chinese, I think Sri Lankan food, I think Indian food. There were lots of Asian cuisines here. And keep in mind that it is open every single day, just different times. So you must check your planner for the specific time frame that you can go visit these street eats and try different cuisines. Number eight, Lido Marketplace which is definitely the heart of the ship. It is on deck 16. They had so many options at this really big one of a kind buffet. Lots of seating. This is where most people are gonna eat during the majority of the day. It seemed like it was open all day. They have different little closing periods because they have to prep between breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can get anything from desserts to Indian food, to Mexican, to almost anything you want. Healthy options are available here too. Coming in at number seven, for me, it was Shebang. Now Shebang is located on deck eight midship and it is open for lunch and dinner. I had the fortunate experience to have it for dinner and that was such a great experience. It felt more Chinese to me than Mexican because don't forget, this is a Mexican Chinese fusion restaurant. So they have different flavors and it was really good. Something important at Shebang is that it is only free on the first time you try it. Now the second, third and fourth time will come at a cost at $8 per person. If you have seen the series, I did get pork belly here. That pork belly is definitely worth it. So please get it if you're at this restaurant. Also, they have a show every 30 minutes or so with a dragon. I would say like a Chinese dragon kind of character that just goes around the restaurant for you to take pictures and they play music all throughout the restaurant very lively and i loved it i would go back again and pay the eight dollars per person next on the list we have number six in my opinion which is miami slice and that is located on deck eight right next to deco deli for convenience again it has the same seating area for deco deli and miami slice really good option to just eat there with your family or friends really good pizza actually i was surprised with how good it was be aware that Miami Slice always had a wait. I've never seen it empty and you had to wait actually about 20 to 25 minutes. I, that's how long I waited for my pizza. But once it comes out of the oven, it is very fresh and very hot, very delicious. Coming in at number five, I have Cucina del Capitano located on deck eight and it is super close to Miami Slice. So just like a shebang, Cucina del Capitano is actually a one-time free option for you to have an appetizer, entree, and dessert. Now, after those times, you're gonna pay $8 per person. If you have seen the series, you're gonna know that I got chicken parmigiana. It was delicious. It had a little bit of spaghetti. The servers were very attentive and I loved the vibe. It was a little bit of a darker atmosphere. At Cucina del Capitano, I felt it was more elegant. So definitely dress up, look your part, look the best that you can and you're gonna have a great date night, family night, whatever you wanna call it, I would go back there again. 
Number four, we had Pig and Anchor located on deck eight at the very back of the ship. Now this is one of the few options that is located outside. So you're gonna go deck eight on the outside on the side of the ship. You're gonna see all this brisket, sausage, macaroni, coleslaw, you name it. You're gonna love this option, but beware that this option is only open for about two and a half hours every single day. So very limited window. Now check your planner every single day as the times change and I would advise you to get the barbecue, put some of that sauce on it and you're gonna love it because this option is included. It's hard to believe that it is included. It's good quality barbecue. And now we're getting into our top three options in my experience in the carnival celebration. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you're loving the list. If you have been on the ship as well, please let me know in the comments. My number three option now is the Blue Iguana Cantina located on deck 16 next to the main pool. Blue Iguana Cantina had breakfast and lunch. I love the breakfast portion especially because they had burritos, tacos. Please, please, please get the chilaquiles there. They had it for breakfast especially. And then they have a salad bar and a little sidebar with like little salsas. So with the different spiciness to it, you can grab it there. You can go to the table next to the pool, enjoy your meal. It's kind of like an indoor outdoor vibe because it is pretty close to the pool. It was always packed, lots of lines around and uh, people really love this option. So my second favorite option on the carnival celebration is gonna go to Big Chicken from Shaq himself. He had some of the best chicken I've ever had on a cruise ship. I love the Uncle Jerome sandwich. Please go for that one, you're not gonna regret it. Now this grab and go option was always packed. The line was all the way to the other side of the ship. So about 20 to 30 minutes, you're gonna wait on a busy day. Otherwise, get there early. As soon as it opens, you can catch a five minute line or less. So an honorable mention that I wanna make on a restaurant that I felt was important and I loved it. It was offered every single night and it was included is the main dining option. So there were two locations for this. Now that'll be the Carnival option and the Festival option. And these are located on deck six and seven. This is your main dining that you have with your cruise fare, no extra cost. You will have the same servers that will treat you to the same table in the same dining room. The menus were different every single night. You could come here, have your meal, no extra cost. Uh, of course, you can get your glass of wine or get more expensive options if you wanted there as well on that menu. But for the most part, the whole menu was included and uh, you usually get one appetizer, one entree and one dessert. That was enough for me. I definitely saw people who wanted more than that and they got more than that. But I think after the third entree, no, sorry, after the second entree, you have to pay an additional $5 or more per entree that you wanna get. So topping off the list of my favorite restaurant on the carnival celebration, I have to give it to Guy's Burger Joint. This restaurant is from Guy Fieri. He's a famous chef all around, you know, known around the world. He has Guy's Pig and Anchor and he has Guy's Burger Joint. Now this option is located on deck 17, so towards the very top of the ship. And this option definitely had the longest lines I've ever seen on a cruise ship for food. So if you want your best chances, again, please go as early as possible. As soon as it opens, you need to be there probably about 10 minutes in advance. That way you don't have to wait too long. Now they have five different burger options and I think my favorite is the straight up because I like to get my burger simple and add all the toppings later. You'll go to the salad bar and it had tomatoes, onions, they had all the kind of sauces you want, hot sauces, everything. And the fries give it just an extra taste really good option i love guys burger joint because this is on almost every single carnival ship this is one of the best restaurants in my opinion and i always look forward to going to guys burger joint so just to be clear guys these were the included options only no paid for options and i just wanted to be clear because i didn't try the other ones for you guys but when i do go on the carnival celebration once again sometime soon hopefully i will definitely try all the options that i did miss so I really hope you guys enjoyed this list. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the series because that is long gone now. I am probably on another cruise. So please keep up with my Instagram. I post there daily. So don't forget to like and subscribe as always and please share, please tell everyone that you know. I'm trying to get to 1000 subscribers. Hopefully you can help in this journey. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone in the YouTube world. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you on the next trip.